This is Brian Jackson, aka Infinite Volume, producer, DJ, and author of the Live 5 CSI Master CD-ROM. This is a quick and dirty tutorial on how to use the Access Virus TI within Ableton Live. To get started, place the TI VST or Audio Unit plugin on a MIDI track. Open up the TI plugin and load as many patches as you want to use. The normal default behavior is for all of the audio to go out through the one output that the TI automatically streams into Live's track. Now, if you want to use multiple sounds at the same time, you're going to need to do a little bit of routing. First of all, you're going to want to have a couple MIDI tracks that are then routed to the TI so you can trigger the parts separately. All of the TI's MIDI inputs automatically show up in Live's output options. Channels 1 through 16 correspond to the 16 different patches that you can load simultaneously into the virus. Now the audio routing is a little trickier, but still not too hard. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the TI interface, and then we're going to choose from the common page here which outputs that this particular patch is going to be going out from. The TI, even though it can play 16 parts, only lets you choose two outputs via USB, at least at this time though you still can use your outputs on the analog hardware as well, and then route it back in through a track. One of the things to keep in mind is that the headroom output left in the TI is going to seem quiet if you're only using one or two patches. That's because it was designed to be able to handle the outputs on 16 different sounds simultaneously. An easy way to deal with this is to use Live's utility plugin and then just add some gain. Now that we have everything routed the way we want it, one of the trickier things about working with the TI in Live is that the TI cannot render offline. It must render in real time. Now Ableton Live, when it renders, doesn't do it in real time. There's an easy way around this. We're gonna use Live's built-in resampling feature. To do this, you just set up an audio track, choose resampling as the input, and then anything going out of your master fader will go back into that and will automatically mute that track so you don't get a feedback loop. If you're going out of the TI's analog outputs and then back into your system, you're gonna get some latency. So you can either mess around with the delay compensation feature in Live, or you can just go ahead and use the resampling or record in the parts that are using the TI's analog outputs. Well, that's all there is to it. Now, obviously, we could spend more time on nuances of using the TI or Live itself. For more information on those, go to Access's website, or you can go to Ableton's website for tutorials. Or, of course, you can always check out the Live 5 CSI Master CD-ROM I did for Thompson Publishing. It's available pretty much anywhere that sells audio technology books or CDs. You can also get a hold of me through myspace.com slash